Hey, soldiers, even states here within the United States of America are starting to realize that the U.S. economy is looking more and more like a house of cards on a foundation of sand. You will not believe what these states have started doing. Will this start a trend? Okay, we've got two states that are actively seeking to diversify away from the U.S. dollar, the very dollar that is the uh, fiat currency of the country that these states are in. All right. So if you got states doing that, then you know that any news that is playing down the desires of these countries to move away from the dollar, you know that news is bunk. Because again, we have right here in America, we have states in the union who are saying, wait a minute, this dollar is looking more and more like funny money. Okay, we got to, um, you know, shore up our financial position and take drastic action right now, lest we go down with the ship. So you see the construction of financial lifeboats. The states are doing this and you should pay close attention because not only are the states are really taking a page out of the uh, book of the uh, central banks around the world. Now, what am I talking about? Well, you've got states that are moving toward a sort of gold standard, and we'll get into the details of it. Listen, I uh, had a conversation with someone in the comments, and they were saying that, well, you know, this red state, blue state data, because I was making the case, I made a case in a previous uh, report, saying that economically speaking, and from the standpoint of public safety, the red states look a lot better than states, all right? Now... With regard to, and I did some additional research because I love the comment section because I learn a lot. I don't know everything, all right? I don't have all the answers. I may have all the questions, but I don't have all the answers. So the commenter and I were going back and forth about the crime statistics, okay? And if you look into that data, then yeah, sure. There are some uh, areas of Texas, for example, that look worse in terms of the criminal activity than areas of California. Okay. But when it comes to money and the difference between a red state, red in this parlance, meaning money is leaving that state and a green state. Okay. In this parlance, meaning money flowing into the state. That data is clear. There is no ambiguity and you can check this out for yourself on a website called howmoneywalks.com. You can go state by state and look at red states where adjusted gross income is flowing out of in the aggregate and green states where adjusted gross income is flowing into in the aggregate. And it just so happens that two of these green states where money is flowing into have this idea to diversify their uh, currency or money in this case into precious metals. Okay. Now it's not a radical idea and I dare anyone uh, from the federal government to say it's radical when the central bank of America, the uh, federal reserve bank holds gold and buys gold. Okay. In fact, uh, America, uh, as the record states, is the largest holder of gold in the whole wide world. All right. Uh, other countries are buying at a prodigious clip. China, Russia, India, even smaller companies are buying gold heavily. And why are they doing that? Well, because A, they want to move away from the dollar because we owe $31 trillion in debt not counting the unfunded liabilities of Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, Congressional Budget Office uh, theorizes that we're going to owe, uh, as a country, over 50, over $50 trillion by 2032. Just astronomical. There's no way out of that situation. And look, the world can count. We're not the only ones that know math. And these other countries that hold dollars, they know the situation's untenable. So a lot of them are diversifying away from the dollar and into gold. They're selling dollars and buying gold. Pay attention to this, please, guys, because I do these gold videos and they don't get any traction, but I'm going to keep doing them like Don Quixote. I'm going to keep tilting at this windmill because, again, when the aliens ex excavate the earth and they dig up 
YouTube and they play the Soldiers of Finance channel, they're going to say, well, he was right. He was right. You know, uh, he was like Noah. He was right, but, you know, very few listen to him. Anyway, uh, let's get into this. The first state that is actively taking drastic action to diversify away from the dollar is Tennessee. Now, Tennessee is a deep green state. Money's flowing in. Tennessee is also a red state from the standpoint of politics and policy. Republicans got it sewed up, okay? And look, guys, there's a difference between a Republican and a conservative a lot of times. Mitch McConnell's a Republican. He's not a conservative. Please don't confuse the two. Mitt Romney's a Republican. He's not a conservative. What's the woman's name? Uh, Cheney, Liz Cheney, Republican, not a conservative. Now, what's the difference in there? Well, a Republican is a Democrat, and a Democrat is a Republican. Same wing, so two different wings, rather, same bird. So Tennessee, here's what they're doing. Tennessee House passes bill to create state gold and silver reserves. All right, just like America has gold reserves, uh, some of which reside over at Fort Knox. Tennessee's saying, hey, we're going to get into that business here. Uh on the 6th of uh, March, the Tennessee House, their uh, House of Representatives inside the state, unanimously passed a bill that would create a process for the state to buy, sell, and hold gold and silver. This would set a foundation for Tennessee to achieve more financial independence and help undermine the Federal Reserve's monopoly on money. Now, check this out. Sometimes the states are held hostage by the power, the financial power of the federal government. You can have a state say, you know what, we don't want to uh, introduce certain subjects to our third graders. Okay, we want to, first we want to teach them how to read and do some basic math. And then we want to let them grow up and decide on certain other things for themselves. Okay, certain states might say that. But then the federal government might say, well, look, uh, if you don't do this and teach them that, then uh, we'll cut off or cut back on or eliminate your funding for certain programs. So the states are kind of held hostage and they do that in various aspects of public policy. OK, so Tennessee is saying, hey, we want to create some reserves that a are not dependent on the falling value of the dollar, number one, these people in Tennessee are smart enough to know that we're not going to be able to claim the world's reserve currency too much longer, not with the way we're spending and not with the way we're acting, okay? Slapping sanctions around willy-nilly, people are getting tired of that. And even if you're someone who says, listen, let's take Ukraine, for example, I agree with our intervention in that whole thing. You can, you can That's fine for you to believe that. Uh, I don't necessarily agree, and that's fine. However, uh, you have to admit that when countries look at this and say, oh, okay, so they really have impacted the economy of Russia, kind of tried to get in there and dictate policy by impacting the economy of Russia. You know, East Mbaba Mau Mau is going to say, oh, hey, whoa, I don't want to be as exposed to the dollar and have that happen to us. Okay, so we're doing a lot of this uh, devaluation and uh, subtraction of faith in the dollar via our own actions. Representative, state representative in Tennessee, Bud Hulsey uh, and Monty Fritz, both Republican representatives, they introduced House Bill 1479 on January 31st. The legislation would authorize the state treasurer to purchase and sell gold or precious metal bullion or specie that would be directly owned by the state. That's just basically saying that they go out there, bullion and specie, um, <clears throat> specie is more so coins, bullion bars, uh, ingots, plates, things like that. But just opening it up, saying, hey, you can come on in here and um, you can buy this gold, buy this silver. Silver has a ton of industrial uses. Gold, not as many, but it does have some. Gold is more recognized as a universally uh, recognized source of, of value, a store of value. Been over it a thousand times on the channel, how uh, through thousands of years, gold has held on to its va value. 
unlike what the U.S. dollar has done in the past 50 years, right, or the past 20 years. Okay, so in practice, the enactment of that bill would allow the state of Tennessee to hold reserves of gold, silver, platinum, and palladium coins and bars, okay? So their own little internalized Fort Knox. Now, this bill passed their house by 98 to 0 unanimously. They're all on board. They're all saying we want to move away from being so dependent on the dollar and the Federal Reserve System. This is a state right here in America. Now, look, um, I don't have any information about what is done in the Senate. I'll come back to you guys with that. But with 98 to 0 in the House, okay, <laughs> first of all, if it gets anywhere near that in the Senate, then it's veto proof. So it doesn't matter whether the governor agrees with it or not. All right, but I can only imagine that with this type of result, 98 to 0, I think there's a lot of support for it. Another bill pending in the Tennessee legislature would create a state gold bullion depository. The passage of these bills together would, would uh, set the state on a path to financial security and independence. Okay, they are broadcasting that they want to be independent as much as possible of the dollar. Okay of the heavy hand, and that hand is growing heavier, of the federal government and the federal reserve. Okay, uh, holding gold and silver would allow the state of Tennessee to shield its assets and hedge against the rapidly depreciating federal reserve note, otherwise known as the dollar. Um, let's see, there is some action going on on this in Wyoming. Now, Wyoming is another red state, politically, green state, uh, in terms of money flowing into it, all right? And Wyoming is one of the least populated states, but yet and still, it's got uh, millions of dollars coming into the state, even though it's one of the least populated. And then you have the most populated state, California. People are running out of their droves, okay, for a variety of reasons. That's a fact, all right? Now, popu uh, they, they have a lot of people over there, okay? But people are leaving that state. OK, money's leaving that state and those are undisputable facts. All right. So we've got Wyoming and we've got uh, Tennessee that are two states that are looking at this. A sound money defense league policy director, J.P. Cortez, noted while testifying in favor of a, a bill similar to the Tennessee bill. He was testifying in favor of it in Wyoming quote, proposals encouraging state gold holdings have come before the legislature since January 2019, but no bills have been passed. During the last four years of inaction on sound money, gold bullion priced in declining dollars has risen by 50%. So he's saying, look, as that dollar declines, that gold value is going up. Guys, you better act on this up here in Wyoming before it's too late. So Wyoming is entertaining it. Holding gold and silver in reserve would also create a pathway for Tennessee to maintain financial independence should the U.S. dollar collapse. And as I've said on the channel many times before, I do believe that the U.S. dollar is not long for this world in terms of its status as reserve currency. OK, global reserve currency. Um, we've gone over that uh, again and again and again. So, guys, keep an eye out for what's going on with this. This is uh, very interesting. You've got states in the union starting to lose faith in the almighty dollar. Um, this is this is developing and it's going to be damned interesting as we go forward. Because, again, if you've got our own states that are not, you know, with this game anymore, then what are these other countries? This will hasten the decline of the dollar and it's March toward irrelevancy as reserve currency. Now, look, I want you to watch this report we did on Gavin Newsom. Now, he is the governor of California. This guy's a kleptocrat bar none. What do I mean by a kleptocrat? It's a person in power who steals the resources of a country and uses them to personally profit. Gavin Newsom profited off of the Silicon Valley Bank bailout. And he actually went out there and promoted the bailout. 
Okay. Remember, they're not just getting two hundred fifty thousand dollars back. They're getting uh, made whole, all of their money back in defiance of what we have as silicon as uh, the, the uh, federal deposit insurance company. You or I, it would take twenty years to get us back our two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Gavin Newsom is getting untold millions back, and he promoted it. All right. This is a kleptocrat. Watch this. Uh, video. The people in Tennessee are watching this and saying, you know what? This is why we need our own. We need to create our own gold reserve and they're moving toward it. Do you need to create your own gold reserve? Hey, do your due diligence. Guys, I will talk to you soon.